So happy September, happy fall, sitting out here in the front yard, uh, drinking a cup of my, drinking a cup of coffee, having an absolutely awesome, awesome morning. Uh, right behind me, I went through and did the uh, trade setups and trade signals for today for the challenge. And I want to ask you this question. If you got really, really, really good at trading one thing, aka, for example, SPX or S&P 500, whatever you want to call it, you got really, really good at trading that and that one thing could make you more money in one week than you make all month, would you be willing to learn how to trade it and master it? So right behind me are the trade signals for today's setup for SPX. I'll see you there. So as I just said, uh, would you, uh, if you could get really, really good at just trading one one product, S&P 500, SPX, as it, uh, AKA is known, uh, US 30, gold, whatever it is. If you could get really, really good at just trading one thing, and make more money, say, in one day or one week than you do on your current job all month, would you be willing to spend as, not, enough, as much time as you need to get really good at trading that? On top of that, and here, here's, the, here's the catch, here's the punchline. One is you got to learn the basics of trading. We have a really cool academy that you can log into and, and uh, that doesn't have a, a, a contract. You have a monthly tuition, which is crazy, crazy affordable, like right around 100 bucks. Right, really, really affordable that you can go in and learn. And then you can actually take the trade ideas from the educators. You can implement those. And what, what really helped me in doing this, the reason I'm sharing it to you this way is I call it cheating off the smart kids, right? Is I would take their trade ideas, I would implement them, I'd push the buttons, I would see what, ha what happens. And along with the education, it made it all cement in my brain so it works better. So now I can get up and actually do a trade setup take a look at what they're saying and seeing if I need to make any adjustments. Sometimes I'm spot on, right on with them. Sometimes I'm a little bit off. I do trade a little bit conservative compared to some traders. So I trade a little bit conservative, but anyway, it's nice to be able to have the smart kids validate what I'm thinking. And sometimes I'm off the mark and I have to ask a question like, why did you choose to get in here? And they'll say this reason I'll say, oh, didn't see that. So, you know, two heads are smarter than one. So anyway, here we go. Let me do the screen share. I'm going to show you this trade setup this morning. And do not, this trade is done. Don't take this trade. You can't put it in. It's not going to work, right? If you're watching this video anytime, you know, after 9 a.m. on September 4th, this is not a good trade up for you. This is just what happened. It's the results uh, for the trade idea that we got for S&P 500 today, which was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous trade. Um, anyway, I was going to leave it right there. So let me do a screen share and show you what this looks like. So, this down here at the bottom, as you can see, let me pull this up just a little bit. You can see this is the this result, $780 after net profits total for the week today so far is uh 300 or 36.22. Is that right? Hold on, let me do the week. The week is always off. It's weird. Today is 904. And I'll just do this month for the last 30 days. The last 30 days actually started back here on August 26th. So it basically it was last Tuesday, I think it was August 26th, or whatever day August 26th was. So this is a this is a real running ledger. I just actually showed this on the last video. You see, I took gold here. Typically, I'm trading SPX, US 30, and NAS. That's my favorite. Then I'll do a jump in. Sometimes I'll see a really good setup for BTC. I'll jump in and do that. Gold, I just threw it in there because I used to trade gold. And I sort of have a love-hate toxic relationship with gold. So I went in there, and that's probably why, because I don't. I don't do well trading gold for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm pretty much done with gold. So this is this this is the total profit uh, for this challenge. Now this is a challenge account that I'm taking through a a, a funded uh, pro a prop firm, right? Uh, it's a hundred thousand uh, dollar challenge account, and so far since August 26th up through September 4th, I've put in fifty four hundred dollars. My first goal is to get to ten thousand dollars profit on phase one. Phase two is eight thousand dollars, and I'm doing this all all of this. All of these trades are from copying trade signals from the expert traders. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing this to make a point is that you can copy trades and get into a challenge. And then when you pass the challenge, you can use the funded prop fund firm's money to make money. Then you can still copy those trades and make money the same way, right? So if you can make $18,000, right, through a prop firm uh, and pass a challenge, you could probably do the same thing again. Income disclaimers popping up right here. Income disclaimer, income disclaimer. Do not trade with money you can't afford to lose. Don't trade if you don't like to lose. 
And if you can't stand losing, don't trade, right? This is not a get rich quick deal. You actually got to learn how to do this. So in this trade, this is the trade I did that was dropped this morning. Again, do not take this trade. It's for example, versus only this trade is done in over with this past period. So the trade came in, the, the entry point was 55.35, which is right here, right? They had a TP1 position at 55.40, 55.45 and 55. And there's also a, a, a four five and a six. I didn't go into those. I'm usually comfortable with just taking a TP1. That's where I get in and get out. And as you can see, I entered a little bit late because I set myself a, an alert on the chart. I set myself an alert here on this one. I was going to run down and make myself a cup of coffee. Heard the alert got to go off. By the time I got up, it had moved uh, just up a little bit. So I went ahead and entered because I knew the move was good. And I got out at 55.39. And that's right down here on the bottom of the thing here. You can see I got in right here. Here's my entry. Here's where I got out. Generated uh, $780. And I want to show you that. Right. I want to show you that over here. So I'm going to put it in as sort of a, a pending type kind of deal so you can see what that actually would have looked like on the chart. So 5536 is where I got in, right? Right here where it says pending. I got out at 5539.95, which is here, which generated the $780. Now, if I would have got in at the 5535, right? And I would have got out at the 5540, exactly those points would have been an even thousand bucks right so i'll take the 780 dollars all day long i'm fine with that so that would have been a thousand dollars if i went to the next position tp2 and i could just slide this bad boy up here right slide it up and just make that an even would have went to tp2 right would have been two thousand dollars in profit you can see that's two thousand dollars and then tp3 would have been three thousand dollars for tp3 if you went there, right? That would have been the setups for the, so TP1, 1,000, TP2, 2,000, TP3, 3,000. You can do whatever you want to when you take these trade ideas, completely up to you. You can see I got in here, I got out right about here. Again, I entered at 55, 36.05, got out at 55, 39.95 for 780 bucks. And I will take that trade all day long. Now imagine doing that three times a week, four times a week five times a week, right? At 700 bucks, seven times five is 35. I think we said yesterday, what is that? 30, 3,500, whatever, right? It's it's money that can be made, like $5,467 since August 26th is, see, what is that? August 26th was Monday. So I've got these five days plus these three days. So eight days of trading. And if you want a total count, well, you've got uh, this, this, entire time here so just a little over a week right just a little over a week's time frame have made more money in a week than the majority of people make in an entire month would you take that earnings yes again income disclaimer income disclaimer income disclaimer i wanted to share this with you i'm going to do an update uh, this is the september 4th update and i'm going to continue to do this because it's very very important just to show people what's going on the challenge for you is one is you got to enroll into the academy to take these trade ideas Two is you've got to be willing to make a commitment to some type of time so you can learn the basics, so you can practice on a demo account so that when you get ready, if you decide you want to do a funded account, you can. You don't have to. You can go through the prop firm. You can get their money and trade with it. You can trade with your own money. Completely up to you. Prop firms aren't mandatory. They're just something, a good way to get some extra money. I would much rather use someone else's $100,000, right? It cost me $540 for the challenge. When I pass the challenge, I get the $540 back which is cool. So basically there's a net loss there. As long as I use due diligence, pay attention to detail and don't over leverage myself and give myself grace and time to be able to pass this challenge, right? I'm going to pass the challenge here. I'll get the hundred thousand dollars funded in my account. Then I can go in and trade and I can do exactly the same thing again on the funded account. I can use their money. Matter of fact, they, they did an interview with a gentleman that lives over in India. He has a $250,000 funded account and his goal is $200 a day. So he's got $250,000 local. Why wouldn't he do more? Because he says he makes more in one week, in one week at $200 than he does all month on his job in India. So he's being really, really smart. He said his whole goal is just to stack up a bunch of money, <laughs> to stack up a bunch of money to supplement his income so that when he gets to the point, because what happens if the prop firm goes away? What happens that? So he's just stacking his money up. He's being very, very conservative. I thought it was very smart. Some people go, oh, I've got $250,000. I'm going to try to make $25,000 a day. Totally up to you, whatever you want to do. 
it's your deal. But I'm saying this, if you're brand, brand new and you've never traded before, copying trades is not for you. You have to learn the basics first. Get enrolled into the trading academy. You can come into our cool trading club. I, I go, I get together with them basically five times a week. We get together on Mondays and Tuesdays, typically twice, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And then we do a, I trade live with everybody on Wednesday morning, which we had the team on this morning. We traded this morning live, which was fun. So I will work with you to help you get where you go, but you have to show up. You have to make a commitment to time. You have to learn the software. You have to learn the basics. You got to learn to plug in. You got to make a commitment. And I would challenge you to commit. It's going to take you 90 to 120 days just to learn the basic basics. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some ample time. If you're going to go to college, you're like, nobody has any problem signing up with college to go to college for four years with no guarantee of an income, period. You're going for four years with no guarantee of an income. You're just giving the college thousands and thousands of dollars, right? to get a degree with no guarantee of income. Now, there's no guarantee of income here. However, it's not going to take you four years to come out on the other end and say, I don't know how much money I'm going to make. If you spend 90 to 120 days to learn the basics, and then you spend the next 18 to 36 months just really getting good at practicing, copying, cheat off the smart kids, taking trade ideas, working on your own, starting out maybe with a small account, but you can do all of this on a demo account before you actually spend real money. And then when you get ready to spend real money, rather than spend your own money, you're going to take a challenge like I did, pass a prop firm challenge because you already know how to trade. You understand the basics. You do all this. And I'm going to keep saying this over and over and over because there's some kids sitting in the back of the classroom that's not paying attention, right? You need to learn the basics and you have to have patience. Trading, learning to trade is not a get rich quick deal. I can't tell you how many people say, well, I tried this. I watched a YouTube video and a guy, blah, 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 blah. Good for you, right? I'm going to learn off the expert educators who know what they're doing. They know how to trade. We've got one of the best stock options traders Trader, she's trade stock options, but she's probably one of the best educators on the planet when it comes to trading the basics and learning how to trade. We've got another gentleman that teaches smart money concepts, probably the second best trader that I've ran into since I've been doing this for the last three and a half years. So get enrolled into the academy. Once you get enrolled into the academy, you know the basics will get you into the prop firm. If you already have the understanding of the basics, you're thinking, man, I'd like to get some money. I'd like to get some trade ideas. You can also get enrolled and we can get those trade ideas too. You can, so you can go out and get some money for you. I love you. I appreciate you. Jesus loves you. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. If you're ready to get enrolled into the academy, click the link below that says enroll into the academy. If you're ready to get enrolled into the prop firm, click the link below that says enroll in the platform and the prop firm. If you have any questions, reach out to me, 314-498-7688. Bye-bye.